Make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your monster furry creature draw a picture of my teacher? I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Mel Drew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Tom Nitz. This brilliant show. I try to keep clean for the school photo. Play Guess What Happened Next and make your own Tom Gates photo frame. Welcome to my brilliant show. Oh, hi. Today, getting to the bathroom before my sister Delia is more important than ever. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Yes! Oh. Oh. Uh... Tom! Oh. It's the school photo today, and my picture has got to be better than last year's. I got caught in a storm. And the year before, I had a new sweatshirt. It was a bit on the big side. Room to grow, Tom. And in year two, Delia said I looked like a reindeer. <laughs> Me and Derek just can't resist a big pile of... Woo! Leaves. Hi, Tom. My school photo is a disaster every time, but my mum still puts them up on the wall. <laughs> and on other things. Aww. But not this year. This year is going to be different. You took your time. Nice hair. No chance. Unlucky, oh, dear. I think it's time to make it. If you've got some dodgy photos you want to show off, you're going to love this. You will need one sheet of coloured A4 paper, some scissors, be careful with scissors. Pens to decorate, sticky tape, and of course, your photo to fill the frame. And a glue stick? Sorry, don't need a glue stick. Oh dear. Maybe next time. <laughs> Take your sheet of paper and fold it diagonally so the two sides are level. Like this. Cut off the rectangular paper that isn't under the fold and save it for later. Unfold the piece you have left and you should have a square. Ta-da! Now fold it diagonally the other way and unfold it again. So much folding. Now you have a square with a cross folded into it. Fold one corner of the square into the centre of the cross like this. Then repeat with the other corners. OK, this is the tricky part. Take one of the corners, you unfold it and fold the point onto the crease line. Then refold, like this. Repeat for the other three sides so you get a square border like this. But wait, there's more folding. Flip the paper over and fold the tips of the corners inwards. This stops the border unfolding. Flip it back to front and get decorating. Be creative and add as much colour as you like. Now take the paper you saved at the start to make a stand for the frame. Fold it long ways twice, like this. Now fold it in half like this and fold the ends in again towards the middle. Take each folded end onto the back of your frame, level with the bottom edge. Now your frame will stand up on its own. Hooray! Now you can slip in your favourite photo or drawing. Try out different designs and sizes for all your photos and artwork. I love it. Welcome to my brilliant show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Derek. Today, nothing can go wrong. Don't do it. Oh, 
make a choice. All I have to do is get to school without getting messy. Whoa! Watch out! Whoa. Phew. Sorry, lads. That was close. If I'm going to get the best photo, I need to stay away from paint and birds and avoid puddles. Just one lesson before the school photo. All I've got to do is stay clean and tidy. <gasps> oh dear. Sorry, Tom. It's time for Play It! Here's a photo of Indrani Hindle and Brad Galloway. He's the loudest kid in school. But can you guess what happened next? I bet I can. Got any ideas? OK, let's find out. Andrani! Can I borrow your pencil? God! Ah! <laughs> Classic Brad. OK, here's another. Here's a photo of Derek on the sofa with his dog, Rooster. But can you guess what happened next? Any ideas? Ready? Let's find out. Mmm, this looks delicious. Ah! Rooster! I think we've all learned an important lesson. Never eat a hot dog next to a hungry dog. OK, last one. A bug with a custard pie? Well, I think I know what happened after this photo. What do you think? Are you ready? Let's find out. It's a custard pie, monster! Yeah. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> oh my god! That didn't work out like I expected! Well, I did not see that coming. Welcome to the library show! Don't worry, Amy. It will come off. You messed a bit, and another bit. 
There, there's a bit round the back. <laughs> I think you're making it worse. <sighs> Brilliant. Another year, another rubbish school photo. The school photo has been cancelled. The photographer's car has broken down. Yes! Your hairs are gluing. I know, but it doesn't matter now. <laughs> yes! Oh. Sorry, Tom. Ah, it's fine. Did I get it? There's more paint on your face than on your project. Ah, there's no school photo to worry about. I can get as messy as I like. Good news. The photographer got a taxi. Class 5 F, please make your way to the hall for your school photos. <gasps> OK, that's, uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, well, it could be worse. Could it, though? Never mind. There's always next year. Hi. I'm in a band called Dog Zombies. <laughs> with my best friends, Derek and Norman. We're writing songs at break time. Sometimes writing songs isn't easy. I know. Let's write a song about a school bench. See what I mean? Here's our top five dog zombie songs so far. At number one, Delia's a weirdo. Who's that weirdo over there? Dressed in black. It's about my grumpy sister, Delia. Whatever. At number two, it's the biscuit song. Biscuits here, biscuits there, eat a biscuit everywhere. Crunchy biscuits, custard creams, biscuits in your biscuit dream. Shop at biscuit. We love biscuits. biscuits. Number three is the school dinner blues. Chips, what do we want? We want chips. When do we want them? Now, chips. What do we want chips and we want them now. Number four. Well, um, we don't actually have four songs. Or five. Yet. <gasps> we could write a song about the next person who comes round the corner. Good idea. Mrs Worthington? <sighs> OK, maybe the next person. <laughs> it's Buster Jones. He looks pretty grumpy. Maybe a song would cheer him up. <sighs> Derek's caught an orange. We could write a song about that. Yeah. OK, but what rhymes with orange? Boring. Borange. Borange. I'm not sure this is going to work after all. I think there's time for... Draw it! It's the Doodle Box. I wonder what it's going to be. I love this bit. Right now, let's see what's in the box. Looks like a T-shirt to me. Amazing. Let's have a look. Now, the first thing is, if you're going to draw on a T-shirt or anything, you always have to get permission to do it. Always make sure you put something on the table as well, because you don't want the pens, whatever pens you're using, to go through on the table. Good tip. What you do, when you've sketched out your design, take your T-shirt and you slip the design inside like this. You can just see the design through the T-shirt. Got it. Now, I'm going to use these fabric pens. You can use just ordinary permanent markers, but again, be careful, don't get it on your fingers. I'm going to do a nice black line.
Great. I've finished all my black and white line now, and now it's time to colour it in. Awesome! It's always good just to sit back, take a moment to look at your drawing and see if it's working out exactly the way you want it, and then you can start back again. I love the colours. now. What do you think? Hope you like it. Now I've done a very complicated design, you know, with lots of things going on, but you can always do something much simpler and it'll look just as good, I promise. I wish writing a new song for our band Dog Zombies was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Maybe three songs is enough. I've got it! A song about cheese! Cheese. Cheese. Cheese is nice, it can be smelly. I eat cheese while watching jelly! Cheese! Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Amy. Hi, Florence. Was that a dog zombie song? About cheese? Maybe. We should probably take a break from songwriting, which means it's time for... Make it! If you want to be in dog zombies, then you need a monster mouth guitar. You will need... An empty tissue box, small works best, elastic bands, some paint and paintbrushes. And a glue stick? Sorry, not this time. Oh, all right. I feel really bad. Let's get making. Paint the inside and the outside of the box in two different colours. Let that dry, then you can add some cool details. I'm doing eyes at the top and some stars. I'm also using this extra piece of the box to be the monster's tongue. You can also cut out pieces of paper and stick them inside to create some teeth, like this. Take some elastic bands, six works well, and carefully stretch them over the box, equal distances apart. Oh! And you're ready to rock out! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my British show. We're still trying to write a new song for our band, Dog Zombie. We were going to write about an orange. It rhymes with orange. Cheese song. Cheese is nice, it can be smelly. I eat cheese while watching telly. Cheese, cheese. I have an idea. Why don't you write a song about dog zombies? I mean, that is what your band is called. That's a great idea, Florence. Brilliant. A song about dog zombies. And cheese. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. We're not no, doing that. Not cheese. No. It's time for Sing It. So it's Scoop in the morning and there's no one around It's so early that you can't even hear a sound Sitting by the school gates with nothing to prove Dark zombies are here and we're not gonna move We're in a band to make you sing We've done a lot of practicing Dark zombies rule For now Sha-la-la-la-la-la-la Dark zombies 
zombies. Sha la 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 la, dog zombies. Sha la 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 la, dog zombies rule. For now, sitting on an old bench with nothing to prove, dog zombies. Cheese, 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 cheese. 